This is what we dreamed of when we first heard there'd be a World Cup of Hockey, that it would go to a third game in the U.S. against Canada. Did you expect a careful start to this game, John? Yeah, but every single time there's a loose puck, there's a battle. Every face-off is a battle. There's, there's a lot of determination with both clubs here early, Mike. A lot of determination. Puck turned back out near, near Bill Guerin. Ram, Paul oh, coffee and sent him down to the ice hard. Coffee injured, it looks like. Down the left arm. Boy, did he ever get thumped to the oh, boards and Yeah, right here. Bill Guerin, they wanted him to make sure he finished checks. Look at that. That's an accordion job on Paul Coffey, who was sideways into the boards, facing up ice. His body was at an angle to the boards, and he got accordion. So he's hurting. You see the grimace on his face right there as he looks now to get to the bench. Evening with it is Matthew Schneider, native of New York, New York, born there and raised in New Jersey. Wrapped this one back in. It came over to Tony Amati. Ram hard to the board by Steven. Thundering check. Rubbed down by Garen, but poked away by foot. Centered around for the pivoting of Keith Kachuk, who threw it in front, but foot one-handedly blocked it away. Dumped along and Bill Garen behind. Rammed to the boards and glass by foot. Garen again. Oh, and a heavy collision of players. Desjardin and Kachuk. This time, it's Canada dumping in. Graves did that. Richter tipped it away. Graves there to get it again. Penalty to Claude Lemieux. He bumps Richter. Silly, silly. Here's John Leclerc cruising back. Now this is in the offensive zone, and you see Odeline broke his stick right in half in cross-checking Leclerc. He broke it right up near his hands, between his hands, and he had to throw his stick down. And there's Leclerc looking up on the big board here, watching the replay of his body check on Rod Brindamore. It was a beauty. Leclerc said it's kind of strange. He's not nervous for these games. He thought he would be. Look at this hit. Boom. Oh, goodness. That's how you clear people away from the net. One pass to Monty, stopped by Joseph. Joseph whips it for the big goal stick on around, hung up in the skates of Detmarsh. Monty to the back, Leach moves in. Leach sent one in front, off six. Leclerc has it, turned around shot, blocked by Joseph. He covers, and play is stopped, there'll be a penalty. Oh, baby, how tough is Leclerc around the net? How, how do you, when you see this, Team Canada knows it, they're trying to work him over. There will be, or there should be, at least one penalty, and that's to Team Canada. Terry Gregson had his arm up before all the pushing and shoving. Nice play by Leach to get the puck to the goal and, and Curtis Joseph with the save. Pointed back to Kevin Hatcher. Hatcher threw it through Kachuk around behind. Doug Wake turning with it there. Wake just looks to the front, gave it to Leach. Leach across. Big drive by Holly scores! Red Hall! one nothing, a power play goal! Dump back around for control by Theo Fleury. Weak toss, but Odeline gives it back to him. Fleury with the blast. Richter the stop. And the cover, and he ducked out of the way as Niedermeyer came by his head. And a little extra. Well, Canada really wants to get it going in the offensive zone here, so they're trying to be very, very feisty, and Team USA battles right back. Heiserman dropped it back off. Rod Brindamore steps to that one. Brindamore moving around in front, and a shot went off someone, and then it's trapped in the scramble by Richter. Well, this line may spark. Kachuk dropped his gloves, took a punch at Adam Foote, who had lost his helmet. And only one linesman over there to help break those two big guys up. This is getting real serious. Both teams trying to be smart defensively. Canada without Paul Coffey since the six-minute mark of the first period. Will their defense tire because of it? They're in Hatcher. But then Stevens right on goal, and it's a rebound. Eisenman, oh, a remarkable save made on Eiserman by Richter to the point. Desjardins. Coffee is back on the bench, as Jim Fox stated. He does not have his gloves on. He's in a lot of pain. I don't think you'll see him play unless he gets a lot better than what he's been. You see him flexing the left arm. I think he's there for moral support more than anything else. He's a real leader for their defenseman. And he's hoping, obviously, to get back. So Stevens back with 22 left in the period. Watched by LeClaire. Stevens banked it back up, and it is Smolinski. Smolinski creeping in, hit the outside of the goal. Smolinski around behind again. Got away from Dom Booth, back to the point. Schneider a shot, pad stop, made by Joseph. And then it's LeClaire in the final seven of the period. LeClaire fighting with Stevens behind the net. John LeClaire without a stick. It centered in front, it flew by Amandi, and the horn will sound to end the period. Goaltending, hitting, one goal in the power play. Baby, we're seeing two teams give it their best shot. 
Mark Messier said yesterday, you can have all the emotion in the world, but you must execute. Well, Team Canada and Team USA have both had a lot of emotion tonight. A lot of emotion. It's been fairly controlled. You have to like that. You think about the three penalties. Chelios for interference. Lemieux for interference on the goalie. And Don Foose for holding. We've seen hitting hard, but we've seen good, clean, hard hitting. Paul Cla Coffey begins the period at the bench, but this time with his gloves on. The line that we were talking about starts for Canada. Rod Brindamore and Theo Fleury and Steve Iserman. Fleury played it in. Richter couldn't stop. Iserman battling with Joel Otto. Hit from behind by Brindamore on Chelios. Still the battle on. And a stoppage of play with 17.42 to go in the second period. Foot having words now with Garrett and others. Foot is the defense partner of Paul Coffey. He's a very good teammate. Watch Coffey here meet up with Garen. Coffey there takes a little cross check and you can see the grimace. He goes back at Garen. Left arm out. Does he have strength? Some words with one another. Man, it's a battle. No penalties handed out. Garen with a big hit on Coffey in the first period. An accordion type hit. Crushed Coffey into the boards and Coffey had problems with his left shoulder and arm. Oh, look at that. I think this game means something. Wow. The big man nudged it back on for Mike Madonna. Madonna passes on to Bill Guerin. Guerin trying to step by. Forced right off and plaster to the boards and glass by foot. Now Madonna with a pass in front. Couldn't get it to Kachuk. Instead, it's Lindroff back up to Shanahan. There was a rush by USA again. No shot on goal. And, and a penalty. Injury, yeah. Lindros was being held up by Kachuk. And I believe Lindros we we'll get a high sticking call and a 1-0 USA lead. The only goal for USA on the power play. Keith Kachuk is still down. It's a two-minute penalty that's up on the board right now. Lindros has intercepted the puck. Now he's being picked up by Keith Kachuk, who tries to hold him up. And there's the stick up high from Lindros, and it'll come down right there in the back of the head. That could very easily have been a double minor, a four-minute penalty. They showed the replay on the board here. Fans were watching. A two-minute penalty is what Terry Gregson handed out. Brent Hall standing up on the bench. He wants to get on the ice. There's only 40 seconds to go, and he hasn't seen the power play. The Fontaine to wait. They'll get by the bench now, so maybe they can accomplish it. Hall is back out, but here's Don Cruz at a breakaway. Don Cruz! up from Don Foose this time as he came down in a slashing motion. Brilliant move by Don Foose. Brilliant move, but a better save by Mike Richter. My goodness. Now watch this goal stick, the back side of it. He never gave up on the play. What a save. Neither did Don Foose. He kept going. Had another shot right here. But this time Richter wasn't sure. Look at Richter's head. He's looking around, looking around. Not sure. Here's Don Foose coming down with a stick on Brian Leach. Now for Gretzky, then back for Dom Foose. Dom Foose back to the point, gets it again from Coffey. A minute 20 to go, power play. In now to Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky, center in front, Lindros. Oh, a remarkable save again! A quick shot by Lindros. And watch again the flexibility, the read, the quickness of Richter. That's a catching glove save. Lindros had his arms going up in the air. And that wasn't their worry at the time anyway. Sackett gives it on a cross. Paul Coffey hits the line. Got it to Gretzky. Could not get a shot. Chelios with a slash right to the arm of Coffey. Chelios is going. <laughs> Coffey's left thumb. You can see they're checking it out. Chelios came down. I don't think Chelios wanted to hit the arm. Chelios is a smart player. And maybe wanted to hit the stick. But it did come down right on the hand there. Got to be a penalty. You know? Sackick has it there. Joe Sackick with 11 left on the first penalty. Niedermeyer on to Sackick, then to Gretzky. Gretzky fed one, Shanahan, no shot. Smooth clock in front, still battled for. On it came back to Niedermeyer. Now to Sackick, Sackick to Gretzky. Save made by Richter, rebound! Tries to close his legs and he's able to. On the puck and the first penalty has expired. Oh, look at this. They're fighting for every inch, both teams. Richter brilliant. Team USA gets one man back. That's Bill Guerin. The defenseman is staying away from this scrum. And it's all because of their forecheck and their big forwards. Claude Lemieux there meeting up with Darian Hatcher. 
Darian Hatcher's the one big player who can do things like that. Adam Graves is a power forward. He's playing the wings. Now, we talked about Lemieux a moment ago. Look at this. That's what he does best. He's a power forward. There he took out Doug Waite. Uh, he has, to me anyway, not played at this level. And it is Messier. Messier trickled it on behind. Desjardins flies it around and Leach with the keep. Leach walking in. Got it out in front for Hall. And a shot saved by Joseph. And another try by Hall with health, too. And it's Bill Guerin turning. Uh, Canadians not giving the U.S. club any room. The loose puck battles going to Canada. Here is Gretzky again. Uh, Gretzky falling down. There's been quite a battle away from the puck. Darian Hatcher guides it ahead for Guerin. Then on to Mike Madonna. Foot trying to take him out of the play. Madonna goes down wanting to buy a penalty, but play continues. 2.38 to go second period. 1-0 USA. Here's Linden moving in. Fires a shot that went just wide. It's fast. It's scintillating. It's vicious. And it's entertaining. Two shots in a row by Team USA. About a minute and a half ago, that guy had him foot along with Keith Kachuk. Today, go with one another. Keith Kachuk ended up breaking his stick, the blade right off. I mean, it was vicious away from the, where the puck was. And they battle. Terry Gregson's got his hands full. He's talking to both linesmen now about this game. It's, it's, a, it's mean. Here's Kachuk. There's foot bump from behind. Foot with a slash to the leg. Now watch this. Another shove. Look at Kachuk. Oh, my goodness. You have to understand that there will be NHL discipline here for players if they use their sticks like that. There could be suspension starting the season. Now here, Terry Gregson is being talked to by both linesmen. This could be a big decision. He's good truck with that swing of a stick, breaking it off like he did. If the linesmen make a major call here, it could be a five-minute smashing penalty. Lindros got away with only a minor, and it should have been at least a double. Here, if Kachuk gets away with that one, uh, I think Team USA is going to be shorthanded for five minutes. I really do. This is Madonna and Foot. Foot got a stick up into the face of Madonna, and Foot got away with one there. Terry Gregson, as a referee, has got to get a handle on the stick work. There should have been a slash to Foot, not called. And then this one here. I mean, you can't do that. That, that should be a major. That should be a major penalty. Players have been suspended for fouls when they weren't even called during the game, weren't even penalized. They can review that later. But later could be very soon right now. So Keith Kachuk, look at the man on the left. He's a power forward, he's a terrific player, but right now he is worried, big time worried. He is staring, he's not even blinking. Now, Messier working Terry Gregson. Chris Chelios is in there on behalf of his hockey club, and it's being explained to you by the referee. A very unsettling moment for Keith Kachuk right now. Eventually, the decision is going to be carried back to the bench. Neither team seems too pleased with anything right now, the, at least the people that are near Gregson. Nothing is up on the penalty board yet. Lord Rossiker is explaining something to Ron Wilson. A double minor to foot. I see that on the board. So one of the guys Ron Wilson considered very important to Team USA's success tonight will be gone. Well, I personally, in watching the stick work, am glad that it's now being called because it was getting vicious. Now, with Keith turning around and taking a two-hand chop like that, he gets caught. Five minutes. That's an appropriate call. Foot got away with a stick play on the face of Madonna, but he also put the stick to the back of the leg of Keith Kachuk, so he was given a double minor for that. Four minutes for slashing to Foot, five minutes for slashing, and a game misconduct to Keith Kachuk. Suter. Kick the control failed. Otto given a bump. Staggers down. Puck underneath. And play stop. And more. And more. Terry Gregson, as a referee, he should, in my mind, Mike, start handing out 10-minute misconduct, sir. You don't want to see players get tossed in a game of this magnitude. But he's got to get control of this thing. After every whistle now, we're seeing pushing, shoving. We're seeing sticks up. He's got to control it. If he gives two players 10 minutes apiece, it'll start being controlled. Amen to that. Scott Stevens departs. 
We have a minute 28 to go, so that could just be for minor penalties. And Gregson can't ask them to go rather than have them stay in the box and maybe get into something at the end of the period. A pretty good collision, shoulder on shoulder. Scotty Stevens put his shoulder into Joel Otto. That was a good clean hit. Yeah, both of them. Roughing minors apiece, so they'll be back, but they'll get a little earlier rest than their teammates. Lyle Odeline with it. Pass came across for Niedermeyer, then on to Messier. Messier crossing. Messier fed it. Flurry with it. Flurry out in front of the net dislodged as Flurry stashed it where it was. Oh boy, what a collision there. Darian Hatcher took the defenseman Lyle Odeline right into the goal net. I mean, he crushed him into the goal net, and this will be a penalty to Hatcher. Now their penalty killers will be asked again to get it done. To the left side, you'll see Odeline there. I mean, he was shoved into the goal net hard. Lindros on the draw. Won it. Gretzky back to Coffey. To Joe Sackett. To Coffey. In front is Lindros. Sackett to Coffey. Sackett drives. Oh, saved by Richter. Do you believe this guy? All coffee. And a pass across to Lindros. Hustles on Gary Suter. Lindros tucks the pass across. Gretzky there. Eight to go in the period. Coffee fires. Knocked down. Turn around. Gretzky. will find the rebound and just spin and throw it right through Gary Tudor underneath Mike Richter and Lindros who's been criticized gets the tying goal. Richter's down, he's up, he's thinking the shot to the second side, it didn't go there, it went to the other side, we're tied at one. 33 shots on Mike Richter, the 34th one got through. The period is over. What a game. And he's still pushing and shoving on the ice. Club the Mews. The Hatchers. In two minutes and five seconds of third period play, if there's no other penalties, Canada will have another one minute power play. Team USA was pressured. They took too many penalties. Canada put it on. We're tied at one. Team USA walks it right back ahead. Leach nearly stepped by Niedermeyer. Rolled back ahead. Amante couldn't get a big hit on Lindros by Darian Hatcher. Winthrop, Massachusetts captain of the 1980 Olympic team, Mike Ruzioni. The, the slot, a shot by Hall is answered by Joseph, and Hall was sent down to the ice after he let it go. Red Hall back up, take the shot, and then Messi, pardon me, Lemieux kicked his feet right out. Young carried off by Odeline. The battle continues on the wall. Mark Messier stepping by. Good shoulder into him by Smolinski. Odeline tries the other way and waiting for it is Paul Lemieux. Turned it back out. The clock shows nine and a half to go in the third period of this one-to-one -one tie. It skips over to Niedermeyer. Niedermeyer behind. 34 shots for his team. 18 for Team USA. Two shots for Canada in this period. And for USA, four. Monty lifts it right back in again. Let's see what happens when you can't break out of your zone as quickly. That means Canada can't get their flow going, can't get over center ice, can't get the puck deep, and can't punish Team USA in the USA zone. Brian Leach just stood up a minute ago and threw a body check right here into Vincent Dombus. Earlier in the game, USA was backing up as Dombus had waltz out of the zone and set up offense. So it's a whole different style of play that we're seeing here now at the midpoint of the third period. All in the first period on a power play. Lindros late in the second on a power play. 1-1 one, one tie. Moving in is LeClaire. LeClaire with a feet across. A tip by LeClaire. Oh, and Joseph remarkably got it. Theo Flurry watched by Hall. Flipped one that rolled up the outside of the net. Hall shanked it off the board, but it's flipped with a shot. He scores! Play. The roll, baby, did the puck find the net? 
And their celebration. A defensive defenseman added late to the tournament. Started the tournament with a cracked bone in his foot. And here, and with the spark plug line on the ice, Rod Sport just takes the puck. And he just threw it towards the goal. You see the screen? And Richter never reacted as it went over top of his shoulder. He did not see it. That spark plug line created the interference. And the reaction is Canada lead for the first time. Gary Suter's pass was off Garen. Run right back to Suter again. Tries for Chelios off his stick. Rush back on, and here's an opening for Claude Lemieux. He's got Graves with him. Lemieux is in, and he fanned on the shot. Richter hanging on to it and play stop. Watch the puck. Does it jump up? Oh, it just went off the heel. Lemieux did not look down. He had his head up the whole time. Pass across for Young. Tried to punch it by Stevens. Help came from Lemieux. Lemieux fired. Waiting for it as Lee. Shoots one. Deflected. Score! The game is tied with 3.18 to go. Brian Leach let a shot go. The direction on it was changed. And into the net it went. Team Canada is interested in seeing whether this was off a high stick. Watch him over here. He let it go. Now he's skating in front. There's the shot. Oh, baby. That is close. It was knocked down with the bottom side of the blade of Red Hull stick. Now, for us to see a camera angle pop up like that, we, we can't tell. Upstairs in the replay booth, the decision will be made. There's Cujo. He lifts up. The puck goes down and through. He was off his feet. Down and through. We're tied at two if it's allowed. They are continuing to view it. They have a number of angles with which to make a decision. They have to be absolutely right and know that it's a high stick to disallow it. It used to be shoulder height. Now it's crossbar height. Well, the man is 5 feet 10 inches tall. The crossbar is 4 feet above the ice. It's a goal, Mike. 2-2. Two, two. It's on the board. And we're tied up at two. It's late in the third. Folks, it's like overtime right now. Vermont, he dropped it. LeClaire connects. Back up now is Smolinski, who moves in. Got it to Darian Hatcher in a shot. And getting a piece of it was Joseph. Now Smolinski again to Amandi. A shot in the stage. Joseph. Oh, my. Around behind centering pass. Thrown away to the corner by Coffey. It is Amandi getting it back to the point. Leach a shot that's blocked. Leach pitched it again to the corner. Smolinski able to pull away, trying to center, but it went off a foot. 2.40 to go. Game tied at two. Hatcher with it. Shoots one. Save. Rebound. Score! Amandi has broken the tie! You know, you wonder about emotions, but it was 2-2. This building was silent. I mean silent. Team USA had their big line on the ice. They just four-checked and they shot. Curtis Johnson with two or three saves, and Amonti will get credit for the goal. Terry Gregson checking to see if it was kicked in or directed by the leg. That will be checked upstairs. They've already been on the phone with him. Terry Gregson put his right hand up in the air now as he has to sit and wait. Now, he was emphatic. He said goal. He said goal to all the players for Team Canada who were questioning the call. Now, did that hit a skate and the stick? It looked like it definitely hit the right skate of Tony Amonti, but he may have got it with the blade of his stick after that. Let's watch it again. Tony Amonti did the work. Now he goes to the net. Off the skate and then possibly the stick. Terry Gregson was in the left corner. He was looking right at the play, and he was emphatic that it was a goal. And now another and very important decision upstairs. It's a goal. Team USA is ahead, three to two. With 2.35 to go in the third, Tony Amonti gets credit for it. The net empty. Six attackers against the goalie in five. Canada needs one. 53 seconds to go. George Brossaker warning Lindros. And Mark Messier will replace it. One by Messier, back to Coffey. Paul Coffey, shove on one side of the net, and takes off Gretzky's stick. Now a backhander by Dumfries has sailed all the way back down the ice, and in! Oh, man. Wayne 
Gretzky had a chance to tie it up. The puck glanced right off the blade of his stick, through his legs, and wide. Messier had won the draw, and then from one end of the ice to the other, the puck slowly had steam to go across the goal line. And with 41.2 to go, Team USA has a 4-2 lead. What an emotional change there has been here in this third period. Amazing. It was so decisively against Team USA at the end of two. 32 shots to 14. Look at Gretzky on the right side in the open net. And the pass that moved across either jumped over his blade or was too hard. I believe it was from Coffee after Messier won the draw. And then the empty net goal. Team Canada looks now at a two-goal deficit. And they're in trouble, obviously. Leclerc lobbing it back in. Coffee to take it. Joseph back in the goal. They'll try to get him out again. Iserman wanting to control. Then Brindamore down to the last 27. Angled back off again. Joseph heads for the goal. Iserman drops it. And then Niedermeyer. Joseph is back in net. It's Detmarsh. Big drive. He scores! Adam Detmarsh has drilled one into the net. And Team USA has a 5-2 lead with 17 and a half to go. And they're going to win this World Cup. Mike Detmarsh with a great third period. Actually, he's played pretty well in the game. He got a lot more ice time when Keith Kachuk was tossed from the game for the slash. But Mike Richter, to me, should be the MVP for Team USA and, and the MVP in the tournament. But what he did in period three of game two, and then what he did through the first two periods of this game, flat out amazing. He gave his team a chance to win. His team took that opportunity. And in the third period, they were the better team. Even though Foot has given Team Canada the lead, Team USA was the better team in the third period of this pivotal game. First places like Corpus Christi and Toledo and Elk River, Minnesota and Melrose, Mass, and Madison and Detroit and St. Albans, Vermont, all brought in some rival teams in mid-August and taking off for those old destinations tomorrow. But what a magnificent 32 days together. Brindamore on over to Iserman in the last six seconds. This is no miracle. It is a reward for building excellence, and Mike Richter should be the guy that will sit atop all of The final score, Team USA 5, Canada 2. Team USA has won the World Cup. And for Lou Lamorello, Jack Ferrara, Ron Wilson, Paul Holmgren, Keith Elaine, congratulations. John Cunham, they did a terrific job. This team came together early. They faced a tough situation here in Montreal, great hockey city in Canada. They faced a great team in Team Canada. Mike Richter got the job done early, and his teammates got the job done in the third period, and they deserve this championship. Mike, I can't help but look forward immediately to the 98 Olympics in Japan. It'll be something, and this team could and should be the favorite. The handshakes being exchanged by these two rivals from North America. Fans responding with polite applause. They're wearing different jerseys, but some of these guys will be teammates effective tomorrow. Now let's just listen and watch the pictures. guys John LeClaire one of the heroes of this entire tournament but without Mike Richter they would not be staying out there with smiles to get a presentation and it was their line that got the game-winning goal the goal by Tony Amonti they outshot Team Canada 11-5 in the third period and their, their forwards came alive the forwards weren't there in the second period but they came alive Mike Richter brilliant